Hello, hello, welcome back. Another Nirvana tune. We're going to be looking at um, Breed off the Nevermind album. Um, what a tune. I love this tune. And it's got one of my favourite Kurt Cobain solos in it, which we will go through because um, it's, uh, it's just attitude all over it. It's perfect for the tune. But it also gives me another opportunity to wheel out the, uh, the op amp Big Muff. I've been playing this loads and I just can't get enough of it. It's such a brilliantly simple thing. I don't know why I never had a fuzz pedal before, but there we go, my loss. So settings are up there, as you may have guessed, and I've got the op amp bit turned on. Which sounds awesome. Now, if you've already seen my Cherub Rock um, Smashing Pumpkins lesson, then you will note that the settings are not that dissimilar. All I've done is I've turned up the tone a little bit, and the sustain a teensy bit, um, just because it sounded a bit closer to um, to what Kurt's doing. But it's just a noisy, noisy tune, so I wouldn't really worry too much about that. Um, let's crack on with the first riff, shall we? <laughs> Careful, you could play that for a long time. Let me play it with a big muff off. So that's how it sounds with it off, okay? So slowly you're gonna do two. Then the open E. Then you're gonna move up to the fifth fret and bend the whole thing. About a half step. Then an open E again. And if you're strumming away and you play, then no one will blame you. So there I was playing two the first time and one the second time. But in amongst the fuzziness, you probably can't even tell. So, that again slowly. But when you play it quick, um, I would play it with up and down strokes. So. <laughs> Such good fun. Anyway. The next part is um, the verse, and um, I thought that he played a power chord and alternated uh, between playing so that's kind of what I heard. But when I've seen live videos, um, he seems to just have his first finger there and, you know, kind of just grabbing hold of the neck. slide so all I'm doing there is I'm only actually really playing uh, the D G and B string there and if I play it cleanly you'll hear so you're accenting like So you're just accenting the two and the four as well, okay? So you're gonna hit the two and the four slightly harder. So. Okay, so one and two and one Part is just one, two, three. Sliding your first finger down one fret and playing the tenth fret on the uh, D string. Okay. And I think you're gonna have to play that with an up string. That's probably the trickiest bit of this tune actually is getting that clean.
Okay, so you play that round a few times. Coming into the um, kind of chorusy bit, I guess, he does branch off uh, for for one bar. So the third time, you're going to play this. And then into the next section. So you're going to play three bars of... And down to the second fret on the E string, which is the F sharp power chord. Okay, um, I think you might actually play. So there might be a, he might actually abandon that before the end of the bar and do a bit of a slide. So chuck that in as well if you want. So after that, you're going to go to these chords. It's a D5 to an A, C to an B. I think that's the pattern. I don't think it's. But again, his rhythm playing kind of mixes up throughout, right? So it's very uh, raw. So, you know, I wouldn't be too precise about it. The um, kind of accents you want to hit, though, are. So to speed, you'll hear. So you could then go to that. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two. And then one, two, three, one, two. Entirely up to you. You have options. Now, solo. This is awesome fun. Now you're going to be playing 16th notes, and I wouldn't worry about the incidental bits because there's no way he's ever playing this the same way twice. It's just hack and enjoy. So um, I'll play it through for you. <laughs> into that so good I mean it really is the perfect solo right I know it's not maybe dexterous or you know you know there's no finesse in it whatsoever it's just ballsy which is awesome right it's just what this tune needs so um, you're gonna be playing I don't know that he's playing the um, B the notes on the B string there, okay, but the um, entire chord would be that. Right? I forget what it is, it's one of those chords. But you're on the 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th. So if you were playing Connect 4, you would have just won. Woohoo! Not to be confused with that one. If you play it that way around, you're playing. The James Bond chord, that's right. So, hack away, 16th notes, but you're going to play 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 3, 4. Then you do a little rundown, which goes. Or, um, and you could, I'm only going down. I think he probably does go down 4. So. Sounds a bit like for whom the bell toll. Anyway, we should do that. We should do some Metallica. Jeez. Anyway, that fourth bar is basically this. Play it however you want. You can either just slide. Which is fun, or so the first bit a little slower. Next 
next chord you're up to the 12th fret, same thing. Then up to the 15th fret. Now when you get to the 17th it changes slightly because he just basically plays just starts to bend it up okay so you just do that and then you go into back into that riff again okay and then the outro is just And you end on that um, second fret F sharp. And that is it. That was great fun. I thoroughly enjoyed it. These are old, old, old tunes. And I'm sure there's a million lessons on them. So if you've stuck with it this far, then nice one. And um, hopefully you'll find some tip bits of it that are, are useful for you. Because I just love working them out and chucking them out there. So see you soon. Cheers. Bye bye.